Hi, my name is Christina. I'm a research scientist at Omega Quant, and I also am a reg registered dietitian, and I'm here to walk you through your Omega-3 index results. So you've just tested and received your Omega-3 index results, and you might be wondering, what does this mean, and what can I do about my results? So first, what you tested was your blood level of omega-3s, EPA, and DHA. The omega-3 index specifically is a measure of the fatty acids, EPA, and DHA in the membranes of your red blood cells. So this is a really different test from most other lipid tests that you would get at your doctor. So your omega-3 levels in your red blood cell membranes are um, indicative of the amount of omega-3s in your diet and the, how much your body is using. Omega-3s are good for a lot of different health outcomes, heart health, brain health, eye health, joint health. Generally, it affects inflammation, so it affects all these different parts of our health. We found that a range, an omega-3 index between 8 and 12% is a good place to be. And this has been backed up by research, particularly in the heart disease world, but we're also seeing it in the brain world and in the eye research world. Most Americans and people who eat a Western diet have an omega-3 index of five or 6%. And most people who live in a country where fish intake is really common, like Japan, could have an, av have an average omega-3 index of about 9%. So it's very possible to have an omega-3 index in the desirable, desirable range without having to take supplements. You can do it through fish and diet alone. Which brings me to what do you do about your omega-3 index level? If you don't have an omega-3 index in the desirable range of 8 to 12%, you can increase your omega-3 index easily using fish and or fish oil supplements. Omega-3s, EPA, and DHA are found naturally in marine life, in fish and um, phytoplankton. And so that is where we are going to get our omega-3s. And you can, take, um, you can take a supplement that has EPA and DHA in it, or you can eat fish that have EPA and DHA in it. Not all fish have EPA and DHA, so we provide a table um, with your report that shows how much EPA and DHA are in servings of different kinds of fish. In general, salmon and herring and sardines are really high omega-3 fish, and tilapia and shrimp are very low in omega-3s. On average, we found that people who have an omega-3 index of 8% typically eat three or more servings of fish a week and take a supplement. So it might take more than you think to get your omega-3 index in the good zone. It takes about three or four months for your omega-3 index to change. It really is a marker of um, longer term intake. So what you ate last night should not affect your omega-3 index level. Because of this, we don't recommend retesting um, before about four months. So every four months, if you're trying to change your diet and optimize your omega-3 index, you could test it that frequently. If you're already at the omega-3 index that you want to be at and your diet's staying pretty stable, you only need to test every six months to a year. And we always recommend with your omega-3 index results to take them to your doctor, talk to your doctor about them if they didn't order it for you, and talk to them about how you can improve your omega-3 index and um, doing that safely through diet and fish oil supplements.